everyone, welcome to Rosemary's Kitchen. It's going to be very quick, very easy, but I thought you might like to see it because I'm going to feed the Christmas cake. And we do this every week for the next six to eight weeks up to Christmas. So we get a little skewer, and Karen, you might want to get the camera a little bit closer. And we're going to do these holes in this already wonderfully moist cake. I, I wish you could smell it. So we're just jabbing a few holes in there and then, oh, smell that. Well, of course you can't, can you? Wait a minute. And then we've got a couple of ounces of uh, brandy in here and I'm going to just, just nicely spoon it in and let the brandy soak into the holes. As I've said, we do this. This is why you make your Christmas cake so early because, you know, you've got to feed it. It's got to, it's got to have the good stuff. And what happens is that the brandy combined with the sugar in the cake and all of the fruit in the cake, the brandy sort of sits there and it all ferments together. So, you know, it's just wonderful. Maybe we only needed an ounce. So I'm not going to put all of this on here. And we just leave it for a few minutes for it to soak in. In the meantime, I thought you'd also like to see what I made yesterday, which is the, I'll take the lid off and let you see it clearly. And I made the branded fruit. Now branded fruit, we usually have this at Christmas time, around Christmas time. But you can keep it going all year long and so you would use fresh fruit i'm going to take the the film off the top there all right and i don't know can you see this i'm going to put it up here with the christmas cake because why not because we're getting all christmasy you could have this for halloween as well so okay this is the branded fruit and this is chopped up fruit pretty much any fruit that you want I, in here i've used pineapple and I've used peaches, I don't know if you can see that there, look at that, oh my goodness. Uh, if Carolyn's really lucky, I'll let her lick the spoon. Um, uh, so I've used peaches and, um, what have I used in here? I've used peaches and I've used mandarin oranges and I've used uh, pineapple. And uh, then you use brown sugar, white sugar, and of course, good old brandy. And uh, you leave that in there, and this is what we call the starter. So the starter set is basically, you put it all in there together, you stir it up well, and then you just leave it for a good, I don't know, month maybe, four to eight, four to six weeks. This is your starter set. Now, what you can do from here, and you can make twice as much as I've made if you want and give it to your friends and you give it to them in jars, make sure that you have a nice tight seal on the jar. I'm going to put this seal on the jar here. And you make sure you've got a nice tight seal on the jar. Again, you don't want it to evaporate. And so we put the cling film on, there we go. And you give it to your friends. And if you take it out of here, whatever you take out of here to give to your friends is called the starter. So in other words, they can go home with their starter jar and they pour it into their glass bowl, whatever they're going to use, and they now don't have to leave it for four to six weeks. They can just keep now adding fruit as and when. So if you, if you have guests over and you ate half of this, you'd never eat all of it, because remember, you've got your starter, you have to keep some in there as a starter. Once you've got your starter, once it's all fermented and all the rest of it, then you just keep going through the year and you just add fruit and sugar and top it off with brandy as long as the brandy's covering the fruit, that's perfectly fine. And you just keep it going all through the year. The older it gets, the more aged, because we're aging the fruit here, the more aged it gets, the more delicious it gets. You put it over ice cream, you can put it over your Madeira cakes, you can use it however you like, or you just can eat it straight out of the jar, which is probably what I'm going to be doing from time to time. But this is the starter set, and as I say, to be nice to your friends and to your family, they don't have to do a starter, only one of you has to do the starter, and then you share it with everyone else, and it is delicious. And you'll find that recipe in the cookbook which is coming soon let's look at this christmas cake 
so it's still a little wet as you can see I don't know if you can see it's very heavy this cake so you can see it's still perhaps a little bit wet so we're just going to leave it to the air until it soaks in a little bit so I used about an ounce of brandy and then I'm going to as soon as it's dried off I'm going to wrap it up I'm going to put it in a nice sealed wrap it in cling in sorry in foil and then in a nice airtight container with a good lid on it until next week and when I shall bring it out again and speak nicely to it and give it a little more brandy and that's it and this is how we make Christmas cake we will hopefully make another video when we are decorating because I'm going to take this cake with me to New York and we're going to decorate it with my grandson Reese and my daughter so we're all looking forward to that and so we'll see the finished product soon thank you for joining me in rosemary's kitchen have a blessed day